So hi guys. So next day we are streaming again uh, for the new guys here. What I am doing is that I am trying to live code uh, messenger app and I my my goal is to do zero cuts so you can see even my mistakes and everything uh, I, I I'm doing it because I think that many people suffers from impo imposter syndrome and this can help that even the senior developer uh, that you, you can see that even senior developer makes many mistakes uh, yesterday when I started I already uh, I already have so many errors that I had to fix um, uh, and yeah and today we will continue uh, yeah so let's let's continue as, as you can see I have my new haircut that's the big change from yesterday I'm pretty tired but I will try my best <clears throat> okay so so yeah i prepared it i prepared it this this is where we where we finished uh yesterday we have working application <coughs> uh on my front end with weed uh yes this is it we had this weird error where we needed uh where we needed pseudo pseudo rights for everything even running app but it looks like now that it works without it huh. yeah and npm install oh no yeah npm install is still wrong so i i didn't have time to look at it outside of stream so i will give myself 10 minutes now to try to fix it uh and if i will not fix it in 10 minutes then i will just continue with developing because this is this is pretty boring uh and uh and i think that it's not that related to this app so there's nothing that much that you can learn from okay but permission denied so clearly we have some some permission issues and because of that i can't install new things uh, yesterday we learned from some other error that it is because some bug in last version of npm so how i will proceed to fix it uh, i think i will just try to remove npm npm folder i'm not sure what it, what is in it and how important it is but if something breaks i will just i will just uh reinstall it again no big deal i think okay so yeah it should be here somewhere <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, how was it a yes this is it and npm right i will try to look at it what is inside cache logs npx i'm not sure if i can remove it let's take it to cache yeah let's go yolo and just remove it with sudo uh this is not important uh, so sudo uh r npm okay let's let's do it uh, now it's <laughs> okay nothing is happening 
the hidden turn? Yeah. Okay. It looks like it is removed. And I guess now. Uh, no. Messenger app and CD front end. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so let's try the npm install. What will happen? Permission denied? Even now? Oh, wait. It's not trying to go to the cache like yesterday. Now it's trying to go to already installed node modules. God, this is so weird. Okay, so let's let's try to remove node modules. <clears throat> Them, uh, or RMR, sorry. This was check. Uh, what? No. Yes. Mission denied, of course. We need need sudo for that. Sudo run rmr no modules. <clears throat> okay, and now npm install. Oh. This is not looking good. I think it looks like some big issue with NPM. But it's weird that it's not happening in any other any other projects for me, only in this one. That's super weird. And again permission denied. Hmm. And it's now it's different thing. Hmm. Oh, here are blocks. Okay. Uh, okay. Here are. Permission denied. Looks like some error with read. Maybe something like that it doesn't have the right rights to open it or something. Hmm. Okay, I will try to Google this. <coughs> uh. Yes, code. Oh, it's not it. Dweet, maybe. I'm not sure what is causing this. Oh, it looks like something. Okay. Uh. This looks like same error. Removing access, yeah, this is this is our issue. <sighs> when you try to okay, we are not installing it globally. Let's start. Manual change. Um, okay, I think I will try to reinstall it, but I will not do it now, so I'm not taking precious time on this stream, and it's already 10 minutes, uh, so I will, I will just leave it for now, we can do everything with sudo, 
and then I will solve it by, probably by reinstalling the npm again and npm with node again actually yeah this can be issue because I updated it like few days back and I didn't try to install anything from my in my other projects from after that okay yeah so maybe maybe something happened during this update <clears throat> i will look at it okay so now now don't bother with it i will for sure do sudo install okay uh so we have everything and npm run dev yes it's working cool okay so now forget about this error and we will continue with our application <clears throat> so uh, yeah now i'm thinking i lost that drowning drowning that i did oh no oh no Oh no, maybe I can find it on my drawing. Drawing. Uh, found it. I don't even know what it was. Oh yeah, I know what it was. It was um, white board. Uh, online only method drawing something like this wait let me try to find it in history wait oh, ah yes this is it okay it's oh it's starting new whiteboard okay <clears throat> okay that was my mistake sorry about that i should have uh, downloaded it yeah this is bad uh, for next time i will try to import it from not from uh, from the previous video at least some screenshots or something so now but now we can just continue with with backend i'm sure you you remember from yesterday what we did okay so from for front end for now it it's enough we have already even working the the uh, tailwind so now let's go to backend <clears throat> uh, here and we want oh no no oh no that's because i'm in different different path so messenger backend code here and then this <clears throat> okay so like i said i'm senior front-end engineer i did i I did Java for three years, but uh, I was mostly focusing on front end even back then. Uh, and I f work with Java full time only when I was junior. Uh, but I, I, I know some stuff like I know the whole concept. I just um, I'm not that familiar with exact syntax for node so i will also google it now how to do best practices for something uh i i did some small projects but i want for this project to be really the best best practice like uh, best file structure practice and everything i i could do just simple mvc file structure but i think but that, that's actually one of the things that i didn't like about java that it's so like 
like you don't need to do it but base the, the, the people from java community are very conservative and they don't want to hear about anything else that much at least in my company it was like that so i i don't want to do that i want to do file structure based on features and then uh, then to add all important things related to that feature to that folder so when when uh, some developer or in this in this case it will be me want to change something only for some feature and you change something then you are sure that you will not break anything else so that's 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 the goal for 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 this <clears throat> but I, I, like i said i don't know it from my head like with uh, front end so i will google a lot i guess for this okay so first start start the node project uh, wait i i don't even remember the node in it why i think okay no <laughs> Or maybe it's again some error. Module not found. I I recently saw a really nice video from Fireship. Uh, because every time I do it, it requires some different setting. And he made a video about that and it was really nice. Uh, why is not my internet working? Oh my god, I even lost internet connection. Nothing works when you need it to work. Nothing. Okay, try again. With my data. Okay, cool. So. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, fire ship, fire ship, uh, npm or something like that. No, not in it. How to set up? Yeah, this is it, I think. Nechtěli jsme vynakládat prostředky na servery a jejich obsluhu. Tak jsme šli logicky do cloudu. Místo abychom je měli muset. Every few months I find myself setting up a Node.js. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. Mm. Uh, so I will turn on turn on the subtitles. <coughs> with TypeScript, and every time I do that, my configuration seems to be different, which is very annoying. I could just switch over to Dino, or maybe try a Harakiri ritual, but that's not always an option. In this video, we'll set up Node.js version 18 with TypeScript, and look at a couple of other cool tricks along the way. The first step is to initialize a Node project by running npm init flag y to give us a package JSON. From there, I'm creating an index.js file. Okay, okay, so it's npm init, not node init. I'm sure you already know this. <clears throat> Then inside this file, I want to import a package. The traditional way to do that in Node is with CommonJS using this require function. However, most developers today prefer ES modules using the import-export syntax. So let's go ahead and convert our code to an ES import. Now if we open up the terminal and try to run this code, you'll notice we get an error telling us that we can't use an ES module unless we first go into our package JSON and change the type to module. This tells Node to use ES modules instead of require, and now our code works perfectly. That's cool, but this video is about TypeScript. So let's go ahead and install TypeScript now, and you want to make... Okay, insert TypeScript. So npm id, we want only development uh, as development package to install it. TypeScript. Okay, now we have TypeScript. Yes, nice. <clears throat> you have a version greater than 4.7. In addition, in the package JSON, we'll add a script that runs that TypeScript compiler to build the application or convert the TypeScript code into JavaScript code. Now, before we configure it, I'm going to organize things by creating a source directory and add our index.ts file to it. When using Node built in. Okay, I will do 
this well so I don't forget about it. Index.ts. You might get an error that says it cannot find the corresponding type declarations, in which case you'll want to install the types for known, and the error should magically disappear. The next thing we'll do is create a tsconfig.json file to configure the behavior of the TypeScript. Have a version greater than equals instead of. Nice. And now our code works perfectly. That's cool, but. Yes, we also need to create the build script that only what it will do is uh, to compile TypeScript to JavaScript. But now we need to... Videos about TypeScript. So let's go ahead and install TypeScript now. And you want to make sure you have it by creating a source directory and add our index.ts file to it. When using node built-ins, you might get an error that says it cannot find the corresponding type declarations, in which case you'll want to install the types for node. And the error... Okay, types for node... DME types no yes okay nice this is just for the native no packages like this fs should magically disappear. The next thing we'll do is create a tsconfig.json file to configure the behavior of the TypeScript compiler. For now, I'm going to paste in a config that I've used in past projects and let me explain what all these. Okay. Uh, I think there is the way how to do it. Like this. No. And px, tsx, init. No. Fx mm. TypeScript in it. No. Okay. Or maybe did I miss it? Yes, config.json file to configure the behavior of the TypeScript compiler. For now, I'm going to paste in a config that I've used in past projects. Uh, okay, I will move this. TypeScript in it. Uh, Quickly, quickly. No, 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 no. But yeah, this is what I want. This, that's what I'm doing. What the hell? Oh yeah. Yes. This is what I wanted. Um, and now. I will just remove what we don't need and add what we need. Okay, so he... Let me explain what all these things mean. Module defines the module system for the program. CommonJS would be ideal for a program that uses require, but we're going to change that to node next. This is a relatively new option that's designed... Okay, node next. Wait, it's target no module. Module... Node next. Target ES20. Work with a package JSON that has the type set to module. After that, we have module resolution. That's what it will be uh, compiled to. Which determines how TypeScript will find code that you import. Let's also go ahead and change. But the target, I think... That to node next. Now the target is the flavor of JavaScript that your code will compile to. ES2020 should be fine if you're deploying to a modern version of node, but you can go all the way back to ES3 if you prefer. We then have the source map option set to true, which maps the compiled JavaScript code back. I think I can, I can keep it as ES2016. Uh, 2016. Source maps, yeah, we want, we want source maps for now. Uh, not for not for the production but uh, for now we want it source maps here okay typescript which can help us out with debugging and then finally we have the out directory which is out directory mm -mm -mm. Okay, out here, here, 
it's nice practice to uh, add it as list list oh. this is nice and include yeah we want only include files in srx s R S R C node node modules and other things so that's why we want to include where is it include include okay yeah, yeah okay it's outside outside compare options include S. S. Not, not. Why is it again? Oh, come on. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It should be all. The final JavaScript code will be compiled. That's it for compiler options. The last thing we need to do is tell TypeScript where to find our code with the include option pointing to the source directory. That takes care of the config. Now let's pull up the terminal and run npm run build. That runs the TypeScript compiler to generate this disk folder. Okay, we'll try it. Import. Um. I have I have the prettier set that when I save file it will remove unused imports. <laughs> uh, so I need to use it. Oh, maybe just like that it's enough. And when I run npm run build psx nice this is okay source maps are here. And this is transformed to JS. That, that contains the JavaScript, JavaScript file that we can actually run on Node.js. We now have TypeScript running in Node.js, but there is one important thing you should know here. Let's imagine we have a helper.ts file that exports some code. If we try to then import it in the index file, you'll notice we get an error saying that it needs an explicit file extension. When using Node Next, we need to use the .js extension when importing files local to our. Oh. Oh, yeah. Project. This is not the case when importing packages from node modules, so just be aware of this weird caveat. The reason it's like this is because we can also use CommonJS modules side by side in the project. If we create a file called helper.cts, we can use the CommonJS. I know that I already did set up TypeScript in a way that I didn't have to use uh, these extensions. But it was quite complicated, more complicated than just using this node next. Uh, so I think I will not set it up for now. Uh, so I will not take another hour just setting up this backend. Uh, so I will, yeah, I will just add the the extensions to the imports, but. If it if it will be too too annoying, then I will change it. Yeah, okay. Module export syntax inside of it. Then back inside the index file, we can import that code using the CJS file extension. So basically, the node next option gives us much better interop between CommonJS and ESM. And with that, we have a good starting point for Node.js and TypeScript. There are tons of other options in the TypeScript config, but hopefully you never have to touch them. Although I am working on a full TypeScript course that'll take a deep dive into all this after TypeScript 5 is released early next year. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Okay. You can watch his video now if, if, uh, or at any time you want to set up, set up a node because, like he said in this video, it's every few months is different. There's some different setting, uh, but yeah, you can you can watch it and he will at least get some views. I need to stop video for now. Because I need to go to Thailand, I will check if you had, uh, if you had sound with this video, and I will continue after. So, in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I watched the clip and I watched the video, and I noticed that you heard this video, but you also heard it with a little bit of echo because uh, the microphone was catching it as well as the 
as maybe the in like the inside sound uh, of this c capturing so there was little echo but i i i think it's not an issue because it was still understandable <clears throat> uh maybe you hear a little bit of water uh, falling it's because uh, i have a water fountain for my cat and it's motion triggered and she is now drinking okay so let's continue now we have uh, working in it uh, initial node project and now we need to set up file structure uh, so let, let's google it uh, i think i I found this really nice github github repo with node sorry with node best practices but I didn't have time to read it yeah this is it nice um so we can read it together and then use it uh if you if you want just result from it feel free to skip this or something i don't know but maybe but at least when you are doing it with me you are forced to to learn it slowly and you are forced to read it because I remember how hard it was to learn something uh, like uh, before when I was starting uh, it took so many <clears throat> so many willpower to just sit by the computer and just start working I don't know why why it was this hard uh, now now I just sit and i start immediately with full focus before i remember that i was checking my phone every five minutes uh i i i guess that it's only it's only uh like routine that you you will use to work and you just need to power through it and don't feel bad when you can't focus 100% from in the beginning because it will help yeah it took me years actually to to improve in my focus and to have this ability to just sit and switch and 100% focus on coding so yeah be patient <clears throat> okay yeah so this is this is the this is the file structure that I want. That it is not like this. Uh, this uh, controller service and uh, and the last part is uh, yeah, view part or I I I I, I don't remember. <clears throat> but I don't want that. I want this type of file structure that it's based on uh, actual features, and then inside those features there will be, there will be the, it will be still like, it will be still in different files, but, uh, but together in one folder, and just those features okay we don't want to read the, all of this we can yeah okay oh this is this is actually that it's even creating separate components of npm packages so we can be 100 percent separate but this is too much actually i don't want it to be this separate uh yeah and i yeah this is what i yeah models modules that was the last thing i really don't don't want this the it's very <clears throat> very but when the app is bigger then it's really messy so i don't i don't want this 
uh okay is here something better layer components with free tier keep the web layer within its boundaries each component should contain layers dedicated folder for common concerns Mm. Primary principle of the most popular collection. A few developing a lot. Thing concerning was free tier pattern. Uh, what is it? Free tier architecture. User interface presentation layer, business lures, and data access layer. Layer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand what it means we we have presentation layer as front end because <clears throat> i actually have two options how to run front end you can have it completely separate and run it on its own uh, you can deploy it to just static server or you can have even different server for running, uh, like if you're for example next, then you need ser server running for actually server side running, but I, 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 I'm going too deep. So you, you can have it separately or you can have it inside backend. So that is why it's called MVC, that there is this view layer, but we don't want that. We want, we don't want to have backend and frontend together it's quite quite old design like now now it's coming bad with next but we we don't want that sorry my cat is having its its uh, wild times <laughs> she's running around uh, okay <laughs> she really wants to play but she needs to wait uh and then you have then you can have like separate backend and front end so the backend can is only accessible through api calls and it's accessible for multiple different front ends so you can have one backend and this can access uh data Lily, whoosh, whoosh. now now it's not time for playing. I I have work to do. <clears throat> okay, uh, where where I finish, when I end it, uh, yeah. So you can have just one backend and mobile as client, front end as client, web as client, and uh even different websites for example it's possible then it's uh backend as service you can sell the, just this backend and things like that and we want this we want it separate because it's nicer okay uh yeah so that's 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 it free the pattern yeah of course, and their points at domain the taxes. And we want this. We want to have business logic separate, entry points separate, data access separate. It's similar like uh, controllers, blah, blah, blah. I guess data entry points would be routers, right? AP, graph, message queue, schedule jobs and any other door to application this layer responsibility is called minimal adapt the payload to the app format including first validation called the logic domain layer and return response okay cool exception in a few months many start controller yeah okay like i said for this stuff is just adapter the domain domain this should be the business logic that live this layer accepts 
the call Line the object and returns one as well. Technically, it contains common code like services, video, entities, and clients. That call external services is also typically called when that access by authoritative. <clears throat> okay. And data access this is where the app holds code that interacts with DB. Ideally, it should externalize an interface that returns gets plain and works. That is understand set of the pattern. Okay, uh, we will use Prisma, and Prisma always return uh, return the JSON objects, and they are not uh, they are not db objects so this should be this should be easy to do with just prisma okay what is married when having flexible interaction with our stomach the more epicals in db called feature fast and the Remember this less time is spent on technical activities and more on activities with added value. This is an always hard work. <laughs> okay, this is almost DDD. Okay, yeah, we we actually doing DDD, I think. Yeah, this can be called DDD, I guess. <clears throat> on top of this, when the is not aware of each particular client has why not MVC? The free team is going to bind between this abstract. Yeah, this is what I didn't like. It was too abstract when I was coding in Java. Everything was, it was interface on interface, interface and everything super abstracted. I didn't like it that much. It Maybe it's needed because it was really, really a big app, but uh, I, I didn't like it. Uh, and I don't, don't like it for this small apps. Prep community is package. No, we don't want this. Or oh wait, common. Okay. So it will be in separate folder. Okay, this can be nice. Use environment ever configs. Okay, we don't want the now to do. Maybe I will take a look. yeah we want okay okay i will create it as well the, that we want just one file with all configs i guess okay oh i just remembered they also have this really nice uh example app okay i will take a look at that consider all consequences when choosing when building apps, using from its monitoring, it's easy to overall alternative. We believe this for our work of considering this. Yeah, I I want Express. It's the simplest and uh, it can. It's the last let restraint. I think Express. You can do anything in Express. Can we read more below for internal protocol and simplicity? This is the best match who wish to deploy OOP. Okay, I don't want that. Uh, the can partition small networks. So services. I don't know fastify. It can be maybe good, but I'm, I don't know. To here, cross and my popularity. Yeah, these middlewares are nice. Okay, cons. No native support for Okay. 
interesting. Yeah, I want the express. I don't want nothing else for now. We for sure want TypeScript. I will not even read something different. Yeah, I, how, how can anyone say that that TypeScript is bad? Okay. I guess they are saying that it's good, but I heard I heard some opinions that it's bad and it takes time and so on. Like it's stupid. TypeScript is absolutely needed. No time. Okay. Oh no, I have only ten more minutes. Okay, yeah, I will at least create the file structure. Hmm. Extend the yeah, this is this is some. We don't need to read all of this. We only need. We only need. Practical. Actually, I think I already installed it. Wait, I need to do it in separate window, so we don't see some work related things. Sorry, I had to cut it because I shared some some things that I shouldn't. Uh, but I have it here. This is the note practices and example how how it should look like. Uh, yeah. So this is the common libraries. Like they said that you will just uh, you will just config them once, and you can use them even in different apps so this is nice known modules and yeah here is one example of one feature and it's even with that package but we don't want that so data access layer repository okay okay order add order okay okay though this is this is what we want okay i will do the same thing in our backend so uh, we want i guess i guess create message get list of messages I, I i would keep it separate so list would be one feature and then message would be one feature we never want to create list we only want to get list yeah i think i can always change it so new feature uh my send us a list <clears throat> oh it's using dash and here just mess messages probably yeah i can rename it always modules country module yeah this is the database module get db connection we will have prisma so we will don't need we will not need it it uh, migrations config okay i will create first we will start with 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 message because we first first need to create oh no wait we don't need messages actually we want the conversations and in those conversations then there will be messages right right 
خورده سرویس سرویس لیست او ویت and how how big of the separation it should be should it be on the reports rounds country order I will try to keep it as simple as possible for now and maybe I will change it if it doesn't make sense. So I have uh, messages, messages, list, message list, messages, okay, and one more will be conversations. Conversations. I hope I have it correctly without English grammar. Um, grammatic mistake <clears throat> okay and this is what we need to start with with creating conversation we first need to create conversation and then in that conversation there will be messages from different parts of uh of person users so this is what we need to start with okay so here i will create data entry it will be repositories here i guess it for us it's very easy because we will not need modules with with uh, the prisma we only would need repository Okay, I will I will create repository. Config is not needed. Okay. <clears throat> so conversations. Uh, Yes, I'm used to write TSX everywhere <laughs> because of React, and then we need wait, it's data access. Oh, data access, of, of course, this is not data, data entry. Oh my god, data access. This is the last part. The entry points are API server. Okay, here is the server. Okay, it's created as completely different standalone service. I guess microservice. We don't want that. We want just one big, uh, one big server. But we want the roads. Okay, so I will create data entry points. And here will be API, but also, I guess, web sockets. We'll see. We will see how it will looks like. I will try to create websockets. Oh no. Oh yeah. I will try to create websockets also here. Because actually I, I'm not sure where to add the events, but it can be entry point. It's it is entry point, yeah. It is entry point. It should be here, I guess domain yeah domain of course new order or the schema is here domain okay weird validators okay to 
Steinbooks. <clears throat> it's something like Zolt. Yeah, I guess it's the same as Zod. Okay, but we can use Zod. <clears throat> Validations, of course. Uh, okay. okay, so I will add, I will add domain, uh, yeah, domain A, domain, and here will be all of the logic for conversations and so on. Okay, I will. Buy a, it's it's. I'm not sure if it's this good to keep it that separate, but we will see. We will see. Maybe it will be just. It will be just easier to create one file for because it will be very simple app, right? So maybe it would be easier to just create one big file and after to move it in different folders but okay we will we will try to do it the right way and if it wouldn't make sense it would be too much of clicking and things like what we can then little bit little bit make it less separate okay we can do whatever you want uh, and that's it for today. Uh, sorry, sorry that it was more of the studying and less of programming. Uh, but if you if you will continue with me, you will learn it, learn it. We will learn it together, and I think there is also value in that because. Uh, if you would just watch some video, you, your brain wouldn't wouldn't uh, remember it as well as when you when you see the st struggle and you do it slowly. So I think there is additional value in that. And uh, yeah, and see you tomorrow. I I am trying. I'm trying to. Wait, I will, I will make myself bigger. I am trying to do one hour of streaming every day. Actually, for now it's not streaming. I'm just making videos because I don't know how to stream yet. But I will learn it probably through, through the weekend. And next week maybe I will try to stream it. I, 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 I'm not sure because uh, I, I want maybe sometimes to cut something and it's better to just cut the video, right, add some music, but streaming can attract maybe more people, so I will, I will try to move to it later. Uh, yeah, if you are, if you really watch it through whole video, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> it it could have been quite hard to watch me to watch me do it, but I I really hope you learn something. Yeah, so see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will actually uh, start with or with uh, building something. We will try to create our first uh, add, create conversation and add some messages to it, and even with front end. So we will see how it will go. 
Okay, that's it. Bye, guys.